Welcome to My Plug Life, and let's talk about new electric vehicles we can buy here in Canada in 2021. So first up, I want to list them based off brand, including price and the range, as well as an explanation of the incentives at the end. Now, the incentives in Canada are that if you buy a new electric vehicle, you get $5,000 off the price of your car. If you live in BC, you get an additional $3,000. And if you live in Quebec, you get an additional $8,000 off that price tag. But I'm going to list why and which ones are available for that, as well as other little things that you can do to save money when getting yourself into an electric vehicle. Also, I'm going to list some upcoming possible models we may see this year. And if there's any I missed off this list or any you'd like to see come to this market from, say, Europe or the United States, please put it in the comment below so we can discuss it. And without further ado, let's see what we're getting this year. The Audi e-tron first appeared in 2019. It was $86,000 for 357 kilometer range. This year, they're coming out with a sportback version, which is $89,000 for 351 kilometer range. The BMW i3, it's been around for a while. Back in 2014, it first came out, $45,000 for 246 kilometer range. And you can get the incentives on top of this. The Chevrolet Bolt first came in to the market in 2017, $45,000 for 417 kilometer range, which is quite far. It's very comparable to the Tesla Model 3, and it is available for the incentives as well. Ford is coming out with their Mustang Mach-E. It's under production right now, none that I've seen delivered yet, $51,000 for 355 kilometer range, and you can get the incentives on this as well. Hyundai has two models, the Ionic and the Kona. The Ionic first appeared in 2017. There's also a hybrid version of this, $42,000 for 274 kilometer range, plus the incentives. The Kona, is from 2019 they made the electric version so you'll see a bunch of gas ones on the road already $45,000 for 415 kilometer range quite good range on this and gets incentives as well Jaguar has its I-Pace which is from 2019 it's $91,000 for 377 kilometer range Kia has two models the Kia Nero from 2019 this is a crossover style $45,000 for 385 kilometer range and the incentives you can get for this and then the Kia Soul, which is back from 2019. You'll see a lot of gas versions on the road, but there are some electric. It's $43,000 for 248 kilometer range, and you can get the incentives as well. Mini comes out with their electric Cooper back from 2020. It's $40,000 for 177 kilometer range, and you can get the incentives on top of this, bring it down even further. Nissan has its Leaf, which is out since 2011. It's been quite a while for this vehicle. It did go through a refresh a few years ago. $45,000 for 349 kilometer range now, and you can get the incentives on top of this. The Porsche Taycan from 2020, so it's relatively new, $121,000 for 354 kilometer range. Tesla, of all the brands, this is the most likely to go through a change. Now this could be a range increase, it could be a price difference, or it could be an interior refresh like the S and the X recently got. So first one on the list is a Model 3 from 2018. It went for $53,000 for 423 kilometer range, and you can get the incentives on top of this. You can go all the way up though to a performance for $75,000 for 507 kilometer range, but you won't go to those incentives. Uh, alternatively, you can get a Model Y, and they came out 2020, so recently, $55,000 for 393 kilometer range, and it's just in the area in order to get those discounts as well. You can go all the way up to a performance model for $84,000, for 488 kilometer range with no incentives. And the Model S just went through that interior refresh, 102,000 for 647 kilometer range, or the upgraded Plaid version, $190,000 for 840 kilometer range. And lastly, the Model X, which also has that change on the interior, $113,000 for 597 kilometer range, or the performance version, $138,000 for 549 kilometer range. Volkswagen has their e-golf back from 2017, $38,000 for 198 kilometer range, and you can get the incentives as well. You still with me? Great. So in the previous part, I talked about which vehicles are which prices and which incentives generally apply to each one of them. But let's get a little bit into nitty gritty here. Uh, so first up, we have the Canada-wide incentive. Now, this was introduced back in May of 2019. It's $5,000 off the price of the vehicle, but this is only based off of the MSRP value. So if you paid $45,000 on the base model, you could go up to $55,000 with options like trim level. 
If you found a seven seater though, you can go from 55,000 up to $60,000. And this applies to both a new bought or a lease over four year period. And this is in addition, anything you can get from uh, provinces. So speaking of which, first one up is BC. They have a $3,000 incentive. Uh, this is under $55,000. MSRP. Now, the funny thing is, is sometimes it'll apply to the BC, but not to the Canada wide. So you could just get an incentive on one of them and not the other one, depending on the particular vehicle you had. So in addition to that, they also have a scrap it program, which is an additional $6,000 off. To do this, you have to take an old vehicle, like a gas car from 2001 or older, or 2002 and newer, depending on what the fuel mileage of the vehicle is. You take it over to the scrap yard and you throw it out, they crush it and the government will give you $6,000. But in order to do this, you need to talk to the dealership specifically first because it's a first come first serve type of thing. So they might not have it available to you at that particular time. Now, in addition to BC, Ontario had a rebate, which is quite good, but they got rid of it lately. But there are some people that are trying to help out. So there's a private company that says, if you attend one of their free EV seminars, that's about an hour you can get a used EV for $1,000 off. You can buy it anywhere, it just gives you a voucher. Now, additionally, you can also scrap an old gas car for an additional $1,000. So you can get a couple thousand dollars off your price there. Uh, in addition to that, there's also Quebec. Now they have an $8,000 off. Their requirements are that you, of course, live in Quebec and that it's under $60,000. If it's a used vehicle, you can get half that value as well. Uh, but there's a limited type of vehicles that you can get with that particular one. And I didn't know this, but I found out from a viewer that you can actually get a rebate in Yukon for $5,000. Now this requires uh, MSRP of under 55,000 and then they're actually gonna help out in transporting it to the Yukon since it might be difficult to get something like that up there. So looking ahead in the future a little bit, I see that maybe we'll see some Tesla Cybertrucks by the end of the year and possibly we'll be seeing the Nissan Aria. The Nissan Aria is their new generation electric vehicle. And from what I read, it might only be available in Canada for the first couple of years. Anyways, thanks for checking out this video. If there's anything else that you think might come out or something that does come out that I missed, please put it in the comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video on my plug life.